Well, good morning, Martin County. Man, I guess we lit some hair on fire when we hosted the last Casey Ingram show. We'll link below so that you can watch the show yourself if you didn't see it. And what were we talking about and whose hair did we light on fire? It seems like the teachers and the teachers union are going up in smoke. Why? Because we suggested to you for some very strong reasons that you not vote for this referendum where they're asking you for another four years of your millage, of your taxes, of your money because you own a property. And what are they doing? They're playing the harp and they're actually exploiting the children and trying to tell you, the taxpayer, if you don't vote for this, teachers are going to walk out in droves. Your kids will be teaching themselves. Oh, they're going to be idiots overnight. Come on, folks. Are we supposed to believe this? Look, you have a district that left 500 k on the table back in 2018 with the city of Stewart. They didn't even know it was there. They didn't even collect it. And they asked us to increase our property taxes to pay for the teachers. One million dollars a year after it passed four years ago. After this referendum passed four years ago, one million dollars a year was redirected at the behest of the union away from what the taxpayers agreed to pay. They paid to bargaining units, which includes non-qualified teaching personnel. You and I agreed to pay qualified teaching personnel. So your school board shirked their responsibility, didn't want the political fallout from telling people like bus drivers that they couldn't have money. So they signed a memorandum of understanding with the union and gave the union the ability to distribute their money on a scale of how long you were there. How long had you been there? How long had you been in the union? You got more if you'd been with them for longer. Seems some animals are more equal than others. That's just a couple of the reasons why. Now, I want to break some other ones down here that are kind of common sense for all of us. You know, Congress just passed this Inflation Reduction Act. <laughs> yeah, maybe they should pass a Freedom Reduction Act because every time they call something something that seems to be different than what it was. Inflation Reduction Act, my foot. It will hike taxes on some middle class households, almost all of them. Yeah. In the final before the House vote, the uh, Joint Committee on Taxation, JCT, completed a breakdown of how the bill's corporate tax increases would affect households at various income levels. A nonpartisan number crunching agency within Congress found that households earning between 50K and 75K are more likely to see a tax increase than a decrease next year. So, folks, hang on to that. Your taxes are going up. You vote for this referendum. Boo! You're not getting any money back either. Yeah. You know, when concerned parents can neither scrutinize nor question the institutions that we once trusted to help educate America's future, our scrutiny must grow louder and more frequent, like we've been doing here at TalkAboutMartin.com. You see, and we've been taking a lot of fallout. And what's funny is that we have not seen one parent with children in school comment on any, any of the Facebook pages that have come back to us and said, you're out of your mind, Eric. You're crazy. You're nuts. You just don't like unions. You don't like the kids. You want to see the kids grow dumb. You want teachers to, to fall off the edge of a cliff. You know where they're coming from? They're coming from the teachers union. And they're, these comments are coming from the teachers as well. Well, who doesn't want more money? Guess what? Let's go down some lists here and talk about some things that are reality in this discussion so that we can put things on a level playing field when we all look at this uh, issue, okay? So uh, and I'm going to link to these so that you can have the sources as well. Governor Ron DeSantis just announced a pay raise for Florida teachers. Uh-huh. Makes us the ninth ranked state in the union. Now, Florida ranks 24th on the cost of living in the United States and is the third largest state in the union. Why aren't we the third largest in cost of living? Why? Well, you know, you can figure that out in yourself on your own. But look, the fact of the matter is that we're the third largest state in the union and we have 
the 24th highest cost of living in the United States, okay? We're above average. Now, what happens when you raise taxes to a property owner? Now, if I am a property owner and I have my property homesteaded and I live in that property, the most that they can raise my taxes on my property over one year is 3%. Okay. Now, if I own a rental property at the same time, well, all bets are off. Whatever the tax increase is goes into the coffers of the redistrib redistribution of wealth into the tax pool. Okay. So everyone that's renting right now, which I know a lot of you teachers are because you're crying that you can't get a mortgage because you don't make enough. And hey, I feel for you. Okay. Been there, done that. But look, I worked harder to get more. Let, let's back up, though. What happens to the person that owns the property that they're renting out? They get a major tax increase on their property, right? Who's going to pay it? Do you think a landlord is not going to pass those taxes along to the people that are renting, making it harder, not only for teachers, but nurses and everyone else. Taxes don't work. Throwing money at problems don't work. It makes it worse. It's a circular reference. Now, you see, the inflation rate's to blame for everyone's weakened spending power right now. And I would urge the teachers unions that want to vote for this that actually back Joe Biden and the administration think about what you did. You see, we don't just quit because we're underpaid out here in the real world. Uh, that would be financial suicide. No, we find a way to make more money, including retirement and insurance and other bennies, you know, like a reduced work year. Teachers pay outperforms the free market sector people, believe it or not. They only work 190 days a year. And have you seen their retirement? Have you seen their benefits? Have you seen their insurance plan? They're all good. And teachers, they should be because you're teaching our children and hopefully not indoctrinating them with some kind of CRT or woke kind of complex that you think this LGBTQ. Well, anyway, let's get back to the referendum. You want more? Go to New York. You want to make more money, teachers? Go to New York. The average teacher makes $89,000 a year, and we're not paying that. No, but see, all things are relative, and when you factor in cost of living, benefits, uh, and all of the others that go along with it, how about the work environment? Okay, how about being in Martin County, one of the most beautiful places on the face of the earth and one of the best economies in the world? But see, all things are relative, and when you factor in all of these other things, yeah, well, you guys are in pretty good shape. We're the best economy in the world in Florida. While other states and nations go bankrupt, Florida flourishes. Do you know we have a 2.8% unemployment rate as an example here in Florida? Now, I'd like for some of you that have been making all these comments about how selfish us property owners are, try to tell a senior that's on a fixed income that their home and their home values have increased that the rate's going to create more dollars for the teachers. All right. If you're homesteaded again and locked in at 3%, the top increase, think about this though. You know, what if you are a senior on fixed income? Does that extra money mean extra meals to you? Are you going to allow the teachers union to take food off of your plate? Uh uh. See, I remember the 70s. I remember mom babysitting to make extra money, dad working two jobs, one in the day and one at night. And contrary to popular belief, my brothers and I turned out just fine on the educational scale. Yeah, hard times and less money don't make for more stupid people or teachers that are any less motivated to teach. Okay? If you're choosing your career for money, you're going to be miserable to begin with. I thought teachers were there because they wanted to help the children. Money's not the answer. It's, it, 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 it's time to sacrifice a little, teachers and teachers union. The rest of us are, and so can you. Voting no on the school tax referendum is one way to do that. Now, just to give you an example, in Florida... We actually rank number nine on the annual mean wage, meaning all occupations, right around $51,000. The teacher's mean average wage in Florida is above that at $52,000 plus dollars. Okay, so come on, guys, you're underpaid. What about the rest of the people in the workforce that are struggling and you're asking them to give you money just because you think that you're a privileged class? 
Florida is home to nearly 2.7 million public school students. We make up one of the largest systems in the United States. These millions of students all require highly trained teachers who are dedicated to providing them with quality educational opportunities needed to, for success. That's what's made Florida such a great place. You teachers, okay? You're doing a good, well, you're doing an okay job. I mean, four years ago, we were an A-rated school. Now we're B. If we give you this money, are we expecting to go down to a C? You see, to attract these teachers to the Sunshine State, Florida offers an extensive employee benefits package that includes both health and retirement plan services, unlike other states. With health insurance and retirement options available, teachers are better prepared to tackle challenges in the classroom rather than spending time and energy budgeting for future scenarios. You know, I'd also like to answer some of the questions online because they're coming in so hard, fast, and furious, folks. I can't type that fast to keep up with all of you at the same time. But guess what? People like Cindy Johnson that says, paper, pencils, pens, paint, glue, erasers, whiteboards, whiteboard markers, cleaning supplies, tissue book, notebooks. Oh, most good teachers spend a couple of thousands of dollars for supplies for their children. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Well, you know what? There is a school district that gets over one half billion dollars a year of Martin County taxpayer money. You heard that right, folks. One half billion dollars a year. Okay. And that's incredible. If the school board is not allocating enough money to give you a classroom to work in, don't come to the taxpayer. Help us find like people that will serve on that board that will help remediate the money situation. Trying to gather more from a taxpayer in inflationary and bad economic times is not the answer. It is not the answer. We are all in the same boat together. And sometimes as Americans, we need to join hands. We need to sacrifice equally, equally, and we need to drive on. So whew, come Tuesday, folks, if you haven't voted already, we need to send a message. We need to tell the school district and the teachers, enough is enough. You get your house in order school district where you have a half billion of our dollars already and you get things working to the point that you bring our grade back up to an A and we can talk a little bit more about giving a little bit more. But I think the redistribution of wealth that's taking place here needs to take place within the district's big pile of money and you need to get your hands out of the pockets of the martin county taxpayers because you're not the only one looking for it and when we go away you go away it's an equal opportunity for all of us to try and find a balance now i know i'm adamant about this i know i'm animated I do not hate teachers. I really don't hate teachers. We all need teachers. I had some of the greatest teachers in the world back in the 70s when they weren't getting paid anything either and inflation was out of control like it is now. But did they slack off? No. They gave me, my three brothers, excellent education. And I owe a lot of that to my parents. Yeah, my parents for working hard, not whining about it. So sit down figure it out internally, take this powerful union of yours and go to the board and tell them you're going to make their life a living misery if they don't reallocate some of the money and get you the supplies you need. But don't tell me that you need cushions for the kids to sit on. Don't tell me you need fancy little pencils for them when they do something nice. Don't tell me that you need all of these bells and whistles to teach a child how to learn that two plus two is four. Okay? doesn't matter. Get a chalkboard. I mean, really, guys, come on. Look, a number two pencil, a nice hard wooden seat, and a lined ruled paper were good enough for millions upon millions of us, and we all turned out really well. We turned out so well, and we're educated so well that we can see through this facade that you're talking about with this increase. So to all of you online, that are commenting and are expecting me to return some kind of witty snap to you. Forget it, man. The union and the teachers 
are putting up a, a, a temper tantrum, and I'm not going to play into it anymore. I've given you my thoughts on it. If you don't like them, lump it, okay? Too bad. We'll talk later. No more out.